My name is Meredith Hilferty. I'm the Director of Fine Art at Rago's. I'd like to share with you a few of my favorite works in our upcoming sale on May 7th. A lot of the works that we handle don't necessarily fit into the standard collecting categories of painting, drawing, sculpture, photography, or printmaking. Many contemporary artists are using new or different media or mixing medias to create work that is experimental and innovative. The first work I'd like to call your attention to is a 1965 sculpture by Heinz Mack. Heinz Mack co-founded the Zero Movement in 1957, and he experimented with a lot of different media, incorporating both movement and light. The sculpture in the May sale is a twisted element of chromium-plated brass that hangs suspended above a dish of the same material that is filled with water. The title of this work is Moving Light Line, and the effect of the work is the play of light and reflection of the twisted line as it dances above the water. Another work that blurs the line of traditional media is Blue Lisa by Mike and Doug Starn. Mike and Doug Starn, also known as the Starn Twins, are identical twins and conceptual artists who often use photography in their work. This particular work includes toned silver prints, lead, tape, and wood, so it can't really be categorized as photography, painting, or sculpture. It's all of the above. This work was made in 1987, the same year the artists were featured at the Whitney Biennial. Another way that artists experiment is by branching out into new media. This sale also includes a ceramic work by John Chamberlain. Most people associate Chamberlain with his large-scale sculptures made from old car parts. This piece is modeled after the 1979 work entitled Portrait of a Nude with a Chrome Fan, but it's recreated in ceramic, which enabled the artist to consider the option of producing it in multiples. While it looks sturdy and strong, it's quite fragile and delicate. Lastly, I'd like to point out two works by Andy Warhol, Portraits of Jack Nicholas and Tom Seaver. Many of us know Warhol for making portraits. Subjects like Marilyn Monroe, Liz Taylor, and Chairman Mao all come to mind. He would typically start using his Polaroid camera to create a high contrast image of the sitter. In these works, those images are printed on acetate and combined with collage and pigment to create a work that relates more to painting or printmaking than it does to photography. The May 7th sale has many more examples of works that cross traditional disciplines. We hope you'll join us and discover something new and innovative.